Hello, hello, I'm Breton, one of our MCAT tutors here at Inspira Advantage, where we help students get into med school and other professional programs. Welcome to our video on the hormones excreted from the hypothalamus, thyroid, and parathyroid glands. These glands play a crucial role in the endocrine system. They are important topics to understand for the MCAT. Let's start off with the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is a small region of the brain that is responsible for releasing hormones that regulate all the processes we're about to talk about. Some of these hormones include thyroid releasing hormone, TRH, which is a hypothalamic hormone, which stimulates the release of thyroid hormone, T3 and T4. It also helps to regulate the body's metabolism and energy levels. Next up, we've got CRH or corticotropin releasing hormone. This hormone stimulates the release of ACTH in the anterior pituitary, which in turn stimulates the release of cortisol through the adrenal gland. CRH plays a role in the body's response to stress, as well as regulating the immune system, blood pressure, and glucose metabolism. This is known as the HPA axis, or hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis, HPA axis. Next up, we have the gonadotropin releasing hormone, or GNRH. This is a hypothalamic hormone that regulates the release of FSH and LH from the anterior pituitary gland, which then in turn regulates the reproductive system. GNRH plays a role in the regulation of the menstrual cycle, ovulation, and production of both estrogen and testosterone. Finally, we have growth hormone releasing hormone, GHRH. This is a hypothalamic hormone that regulates the release of growth hormone from the anterior pituitary. GR GHRH is involved in the regulation of growth and cellular reproduction. It also regulates the metabolism of carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins. Now, you might have noticed there's one we haven't talked about yet, calcitonin. This is in the thyroid. The thyroid gland is a butterfly-shaped gland located in the front of the neck. It produces hormones such as, we said T3 and T4, which regulates body's metabolism and energy levels. Having high levels of these hormones increases the body's metabolism while having low levels decreases it. The disease states of these are called hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism respectively. Now, calcitonin helps to regulate calcium levels in the blood specifically by decreasing the blood calcium through different mechanisms, such as inhibiting osteoclasts, which are cells that break down bone and release calcium into the bloodstream, stimulating osteoblasts, which are cells that build bone and remove calcium from the bloodstream, as well as decreasing the reabsorption of calcium in the kidneys and decreasing the amount of absorption of calcium from the gut. Calcitonin plays a key role in maintaining the balance of calcium levels in the body. High blood calcium levels can lead to a condition called hypercalcemia, which can cause damage to the kidneys, heart, and nerves. Low blood calcium can lead to a condition called hypocalcemia, which can cause muscle cramps, tetany, and nerve problems. It's important to note that calcitonin acts in concert with the parathyroid hormone, PTH, which is produced by the parathyroid gland. PTH increases blood calcium levels. The balance between these two hormones is critical for maintaining proper calcium levels in the body. Understanding the specifics of these hormones are very important to do well on the MCAT. Thank you so much for watching our video, and I'll see you next time.